What may be the most gruesome crime in Volusia County's history is coming back into the spotlight. Yes, sentencing is now scheduled to be next week for two of the people convicted in what's known as the Xbox murders. They were tied for the, excuse me, tried for the deaths of six people and a dog in Deltona back in 2004. Western's Claire Metz reports on the new push for death sentences against Troy Victorino and Jerome Hunter. Telford Lane was a nightmarish crime scene when law enforcement arrived in August of 2004. Six young people beaten with bats, stabbed with knives, a dog stomped to death. Evidence of the violence in almost every room of the house. Ringleader Troy Victorino was angry that he'd been discovered squatting in the then vacant home by the owner's granddaughter, victim Aaron Belanger. And angry she still had some of his belongings, including an Xbox game. The murders have often been called the Xbox killings. Ms. Belanger was in the house with friends Michelle Nathan, Francisco Ayo Ramon, Anthony Vega, Roberto Gonzalez, and Jonathan Gleason on the night of August 6th when Troy Victorino orchestrated a massacre. It's my testimony that I'm innocent and I was not at that crime scene. Victorino, along with Jerron Hunter, Robert Cannon, and Michael Salas were connected to the crimes. And in 2006, Victorino, Hunter, and Salas were tried, convicted, and sentenced. Cannon did not go to trial, taking a plea deal right before the start. Cannon and Salas got life in prison, but Victorino and Hunter were sentenced to death. In 2017, those death sentences were overturned because the jury verdicts were not unanimous. Troy Victorino and Jerron Hunter were booked into the Volusia County Jail Monday in advance of the resentencing hearing set to begin next week. This will only be about sentencing. The first degree murder convictions against the men stand. The state attorney's office is again seeking the death penalty against the two men, though this time a jury's recommendation will have to be unanimous or the defendants will get life in prison. Jury selection begins Monday morning. In Volusia County, Claire Metz, West 2 News. Attorneys for one of the convicted men filed a motion asking that the resentencing hearings be separated. The judge denied that motion.